Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name is Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved onto a narrow boat called Nutshell. And here we are. I'm, I'm, I've had enough of being on Nutshell now. I want off. <laughs> I want out. Do you really? Uh, I've got about another week in me. You've got to stay here, Glenn. You, mm. can't, you can't go anywhere. We've just done the third week of lockdown. Let's get straight into it. Now the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to the most beautiful day. How gorgeous is that? I bet I'm not the only one who's thinking this morning we can do lockdown in this. Just had a quick sneaky peek at the weather forecast as well. Two days this week are meant to be cloudy and a little bit sunny. The rest of it full on sun boy does it make a difference so i'm just going to take my coffee and go and sit out there and just ease myself into the day we're having boiled eggs for breakfast well it's it's brunch really because it's it's 20 to 12. it's like egg roulette do you ever make perfect eggs sometimes i do sometimes i don't they're either too runny or hard so let's see how we get on with these ones Let's see. <gasps> They're a little bit snotty, but I don't mind that because we've got soft bread. Right, we're definitely going to get these curtains down and wash them today. Oh, I can't wait to get these in the washing machine. Mm. This is the curtain that was nearest the fire. The dust that has come off that it's was of was minging. Hey, look at this. We've just had a delivery from Sam and John next door. Oh, it looks delicious. A neighbour's just come round and said, I've got your Amazon delivery. I was like, I haven't ordered anything off Amazon. I open it up and there's these. How wonderful is that? I've got a feeling this is from someone who watches our videos. I've got a feeling this is from Louise. If it is, Louise, thank you. First cake, now chocolate. It looks like we're moving out. Mr Warner. Got my hands in the toilet. <laughs> what are you doing? No, well, we've got two cassettes. We tend just to use one of them. We had a bit of a nightmare where the full light didn't come on we had a bit of a weak catastrophe how the light works to say it's full is there's a magnet in here on a float and when that floats to the top when the water brings it to the top it meets the magnet reed switch in the toilet and the way i can demonstrate this is with a little magnet and if i put it near the reed switch on there you'll see the little red light comes on oh yeah okay so the magnet just trips the switch on might have to poke me head in the No, set. Glenn, no, just don't, don't, no. Just to see what's going on No, in this Glenn, Glenn, it's not worth it. Do not put your head or hands in that cassette. I'm not going to put my hand in it, I'm just going to have a look. No, Glenn. Anyway. Don't do it. Glenn. I'm not having to put my hands in it, I used a little bit, a little stick. And basically it was just hanging loose and it should have been this way. And it would obviously come past its click, so I pushed it and it's gone back into position. So we'll put this one back in and keep an eye on it. Right, let's get these curtains ironed and hung back up. It is obviously the top of it. Oh, that was filthy. Small repairs. As we took the curtains down, curtains down that bit of wood fell down. Oh, yeah, it's Gorilla glued it. Looking better. I've made some sausage rolls. You know they're not going to be a patch on Mr Warner's, but anyway, sausage rolls for tea. Mmm, sausage rolls didn't look too bad. Chicken and chorizo in a spicy chilli jam. Got a bit of everything here, Mr Warner. What's left on the shelf today? Just a screwdriver. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but this one was a little bit short and a little bit small for the size of the boat so it was taking ages to do a turn so i made this little plate up out of aluminium which i've popped it to the old one which will now pass 
So basically, when it gets much bigger. So that will help it turn better. Turn better, yeah. Okay, and what have you done about it taking on water? I've just put some sand on the bottom of it. Sat down to watch the Queen's speech. So this is the fourth time in a 64 year reign that she's addressed the nation like this. I mean, apart from her Christmas Day speech, obviously. So we thought it was important enough to sit down and have a watch. Now at eight o'clock, Her Majesty the Queen. Thereby helping to protect the vulnerable and sparing many families the pain already felt by those who have lost loved ones. Well, that was the Queen's speech, her address to the nation. Made me a bit teary. I know some people just don't do the monarchy, but God bless her, I love her. Good morning to you. It is Monday, two weeks ago today. Two weeks ago this evening, to be precise. The UK went into lockdown also known as staying in. We're doing all right. Are we ready for this week, Mr. Warner? Born ready he was. Neighbours of ours were going shopping. They said, do you need anything? And we actually need like a full shop because we're, we're running out of stuff. But I thought, mm, I could make do today. The only thing we really need is butter. So I said to Glenn, just ask them to get us some butter and some hot cross buns. We haven't had a hot cross bun in the boat for at least a week. We started off with good supplies, but they didn't last long. So, Glenn, tell us your secret to your sausage rolls. It's the fennel. The cheese inside, not outside. <laughs> I put the cheese on the outside yesterday. And, um, and then the sesame seeds on top. So these bad boys are waiting to go in the oven. We've got emergency supplies from our neighbour who we went to Tesco. So we said it was very organised this morning. They're operating a one-way system down the aisles now. Oh. And all the cashiers got screens now in front of them. They didn't know which coffee to get us, so they got us like a cheap one and two dear ones. Excellent. And then they got us two types of oh, extra fruit <laughs> and buns. They can only get PG loose tea. Oh, that's all think. right. That's yeah. all right. Some loose and, tea. Uh, Oh, all the essentials. Life is good. This Monday is, is looking up. I didn't take in just how wonderful these are. Well, these Raspberry are the and Belgium white chocolate. I think I have to get a whole bag in there. I keep thinking I really should get on with some work and then I just like, well, oh, I'll just wait to have my coffee first. Sun's come out. Coffee, sausage rolls. Oh man, I just knocked my coffee over. No builders on the site today, Mrs. Warner, for the first time. You know, two weeks after shutdown, lockdown, shutdown, staying in, whatever you like to call it, things now seem to be really, really coming to a stop. So Glenn's just noticed that there's no builders. One of our daughters who's been working from home has received notice today that she's been furloughed from tomorrow. That's all four, no, not all no. four of our children. Nami, Nami. Um, works at Asta. She's she's still she's not gonna get furloughed, no. So three out of four of our children furloughed. Glenn has been wandering around the boat today after he's made his sausage rolls, he's had uh, his coffee, he's been sitting there listening to music, looking a bit forlorn, I would say, Mr. Warner. Yeah, no, I just don't know what job to start. So I've just taken the boat off of the shoreline because I've had a look at the batteries and I think the batteries might be um, mullered. So I'm going to see how long they last before alarms start going off down the back on the inverter. Fridge is still on and the obviously the inverter on which will draw on it anyway. So we'll just see how quickly they, uh, they um, go down. I'm down to 31% so basically I need to plug my laptop in. Lisa needs to plug her laptop in because she's a bit needy. That'll put a massive drain on the batteries. On. Plug them in, let's see what happens. What happens. So that's 13.2 now. Right. The weight of the right. Lisa, Lisa's charger normally spanks it. There you go, 13.1. We'll keep an eye on that. This this gives us a, actually 13 volts, there you go. But this this gives us a better reading than the, the solar panel one down the back because the solar panel one down the back reads from the solar panel, so that'll probably be reading 13.5, whereas this is just attached directly to the battery. There's the um, solar panel controller. That's reading 13.5 volts. And I know the um, voltage down the back is down to 12.5, so 12.4 actually, I think. 
So you see what I mean, you get a sort of a false reading from this unit here. It's 10 to 3. I've got to say, this isn't been one of my favourite days. Yeah, no, no. no. I just feel a bit... Flat? Yeah, do you think you could cut my fringe for me? What do you think? I can have a go. I'll do it later. Okay. I won't do it right now. Okay. Anyway, right, I better get on. I think the thing is, is I haven't really done anything of value today. It's like five o'clock. I've sat here all day. It's time to go out for a walk. Oh, it feels good to get outside. Birds are singing. More beautiful blossom. We just got back from our walk and uh, the alarm was going off. Dropped to 10 volts. That's because the immersion came on. Glenn forgot about that. Well, I might leave Mr. Warner out here with his toy and go in and finish cooking dinner. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> you nearly crashed it then. <laughs> oh, it's smelling good. Basically, I've thrown everything we've got in there. That was only a small amount of chicken and a cabbage that was turning a bit dodge. And a couple of carrots that have been left. Hopefully, It'll taste as good as it smells. Glen, on Buddha's head. That was a good addition to his head. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. So yesterday was a strange day. I mean, they're all bloody strange, to be honest. But yesterday was strange. By the time we'd had breakfast, we'd had some coffee, we'd sort of just milled around for a bit. It was like midday and I was like, oh, this day's going to go super quick. And then I started doing some work, but I wasn't very productive in the work I was doing. And then the sort of day just, it just didn't feel great. I felt like I'd been busy, but not productive, which is my worst sort of busy. I spilled my coffee yesterday. You can see in the sunlight, it has left a stain. I might have some carpet cleaner somewhere in the cupboard. I'll have a look later. I just had to check in. It's only 11.30 and I've had such a productive day. So I've done loads of admin with Deb, set up the phone. We were doing FaceTime and admin at the same time. That was really good. I had a long conversation with my friend Vanessa. I've just stuck a load of washing in. That's the pump that was wearing away. And the weather is beautiful. Let me show you. comes trouble on his way over. Uh, Mr. Warner? Another project, another auction purchase that I'm paying, <laughs> I bought, which needs lots of bits adding to make it work. But I thought I've got nothing better to do. Look at those Yorkshire puddings! What a lovely evening, beautiful moon out there. So many bats flying around, sitting here watching them whiz by, I love it. Glenn started on his repair job. How's that going, Glenn? Mm, it's not really going. Hello, good morning and welcome to Wednesday. The sun is not quite shining as brightly as yesterday, but it's, it's all right out there. Last night, I set my camera up on the on the roof of the boat to capture the beautiful moon. It was cloudy, it was, the camera just didn't capture the, the beauty of it. It's my mum's birthday today, so I rang her first thing. This afternoon at 1.30, all the kids were all jumping on a call with my mum and we're all gonna bring a coffee and a piece of cake. I haven't got any cake here, so it may have to be a hot cross bun and we'll have a sort of birthday party we've missed breakfast today so we're heading straight for brunch and i'm gonna make some deviled eggs never made those before 
Let's see how that turns out. Normal legs. <laughs> Glenn's like, can we just have normal legs? What no, Glenn. Legs? Are they spicy? He's so moany. Anyway. Right. The instructions say, bring some water to the boil. And once it's boiling, add the eggs one by one into the pan. Bring them back to the boil. Boil for one minute and then turn the heat off. So they've got to sit for 12 minutes and then I've got to plunge them into some cold water and leave them for 15 minutes but no longer. You know when you start something and you think, oh, why did I bother? Right, take eggs, place gently into the cold water. It says for 15 minutes, no more says I've got to peel them patiently and carefully. Well, they're two words that aren't usually associated with me. Patiently and carefully. Oh, this is rubbish. It's not even cooked. There's no way I can get the egg yolk out of that. <laughs> no, it's just like uncooked egg. That is a load of faff for nothing. Right, I think it's time we went for a stroll. I've done a lot of sitting down today. So it's decided. I'm still in my winter boots and I've just met two people in flip flops. That is it. When I get back, I am going to get out the spring summer clothing and pick a new 33 items. How exciting. As I stand here and listen to the bird song, can you hear it? Oh, it grounds me, it makes me feel so much better. This is the Tree Cathedral. It's based on the outline of Norwich Cathedral. Mr Warner, got that paint put out again, touching up some of the um, skirting boards. And I think I'm going to wear it just all the time, indoors and outdoors, because it hides my messy hair. That's it. That's my spring wardrobe sorted. I'll have a count up tomorrow with necklaces, shoes, and see whether I'm near my 33 items. And I'll definitely take a look at that. Mr. Warner's taken the sink out. Okay, what's for dinner tonight? chicken pie using the leftovers and celeriac for the topping. Okie doke. Well, Mr. Warner's making all that noise. I'm going to fry these leeks and mushrooms and what shall we fry them with? Bit of rosemary. You know what? I think leeks are one of my favourite vegetables. Right, that's going in the oven now. It's done. There's a cut a bigger hole out the middle. Stuck some more sticky stuff on this so it don't won't move. And it's, all, and it's now closer, so it'll just mean that click when we wash our hands. It's, it's about I mean it's only an inch, but it just make the difference of it not going over the edge because we have to keep our hands in the bowl a bit more. Good morning to you. It's Thursday. I'm up so early. I just couldn't sleep last night. I saw one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. As soon as the clock switched around to six, I was like, oh man, come on. There's no point just laying in bed, just tossing and turning. Let's get out and walk. I'm going to go back to my music. I'm going to get my stride on and power walk around this lake. just beautiful the camera just doesn't pick it up it is blazing red you can probably get more of a idea from the reflection it's just so beautiful I don't even want to keep walking I just want to stare at it it's just amazing heron just landed just down here here he is small one
there's activity on the building site this morning. Some vans. What's going on? <laughs> Mr. Warner, don't do it. Don't go in the messy cupboard. Oh, Glenn, do we really want to do yeah. this? Well, in addition to Glenn making a big mess, can you believe all that stuff came out of that tiny cupboard? No, I can't believe it either. I've just been speaking to Harry and he's doing family tree on Ancestry. He was talking about it. I said, like, I want to do that too. So I'm just going to sign up. Big cranes come down. It's all laying on the ground. Uh, Glenn, what's happened to the Hoover? No, it doesn't sound very well, does it? It's Thursday evening again, we're getting ready to go out and clap for carers. But let me show you something. Do you remember the first night we did it? It was dark. Second time we've done it, not so dark. But check this out. Not dark at all. I've got my saucepan ready to make some noise. Good morning and welcome to Good Friday. I have given up counting what day it is. It's about two and a half weeks in, almost three weeks actually. We're doing all right. Mr. Warner, you've woken up um, on a mission today. Yeah, I'll try and shift all this out today. I want to get the floor up in here, repaint it. I was looking for that hot water bottle. No wonder we couldn't find it. I know it's not even lunchtime yet, but my thoughts gone to dinner already. So I've just made a marinade here and I'm gonna stick these this chicken in here. That's how I want them all to be. I'll paint that section. Can't get under here because this this has all been built in to the wardrobe so I can't get under that one. Glenn, how are you doing? I managed to get that slab moved, but that's the so what my plan is is I've, I've pushed it, took the, the these little bits that were on top holding the floor up, took them out, managed to get the end up, cut my thumb, which oh. is not so good, oh. um, and slid it on top of the next one, which now reveals the panel. So now at least I can um, treat it. And I always panic when I do this because I think well, I'm going to go through them. <laughs> It's not, it's got 10 mil. I've been doing my family tree all day. It's so fascinating. Here's my mum, here's my dad, and here's my nan. That's That would be my great-grandmother. And this would be my great-great-grandmother. Right up to 1814. I'm really looking forward to exploring this more. I've rubbed this all down. Corners have been a bit hacked up, so I'm going to try and repair that. Yeah, I want to clip the pipes in properly, get it all painted up, make it look better. The only reason I'm doing this now is because I'm waiting for the floor to dry and I can't do anything until the floor is dry, so I'm just cracking on with it. Just looked out the window, and despite Mr. Warner's banging, look who's there. Good morning and welcome to Saturday, Easter Saturday, during lockdown. I'm cooking the last four hot cross buns. I've done so well over the last two days. No chocolate, no cake, no sweets, no nothing. But I opened the cupboard, saw these hot cross buns. I thought they need using. So rather than make Glenn eat them all, I'm going to help him because that's the sort of wife I am gonna have a cup of tea because we haven't got much milk gonna have a hot cross bun and then we shall start the day it's like a huge area there. <laughs> yeah basically you wait for your and say it's red so i've had so much fun with this family tree malarkey i really want to find out about the people this is ada elizabeth manley so this is my nan's mum so what i found out from the 1911 census so this is the family here this handwriting is honestly it took me ages to work out alfred james bond is her husband so my great grandfather as occupation 
it was this and i was like what what is this journeyman baker i didn't have a clue what did that mean I, my first thoughts was like it was a traveling baker but it's not journeyman is it's like a level of skill so you have like your apprentice you have your master baker and under under master baker is a journeyman and it's like a skilled worker i know very little about this i only started researching yesterday mr warner what are you up to now going over in the black do this one first yeah so then i can shift the, the slab back over right and then that means i can then paint that one okay and then put the slab back in that one so my plan is is to try and get all this done second coat today those trees definitely filling in what a difference from a couple of weeks ago it's all this gorgeous sunshine can you give us an update so this is meant to dry in four hours but it's been ages I'm, the first panel is still not dry in day, so i can't move anything and every time i move and touch anything dust goes everywhere and bits go on top of the paint so i'm just been sitting around with other stuff so I've neatened all my wiring up to give them this a coat of paint. Also we've got a connector over here which is a 12 volt connector. Which I'm, I need to go down the back and see what that's wired to. We are going to get a 12 volt fridge at some point so I might run that down to the kitchen by the bed. I'm going to put a USB socket in so that we can charge the phones up on 12 volt rather than having to have mains on. When I change all the sockets on the boat I put USB sockets on pretty much all of them and I've got a feeling that they're drawing power off of the inverter when we're running off 12 volts so I think I'm going to have to remove some of them it's all about reducing the power that's why I want to get a 12 volt fridge as well mm. for us this is the fridge that, there that we've got at the moment it's meant to be a 12 stroke 24 volt fridge but when we tried it last time in the summer it just didn't keep stuff cold did it no but now I've plugged it into a 24 volt reducer which came with it it seems to run a lot better but we'll see when we get around to doing the kitchen i'll um i'll have another look at it so that was the week do you know what i've recorded so much footage for this video don't ask me how i've had to cut it down dramatically but each day on instagram and facebook i'll upload the full day so on monday i'll upload what we did last monday the unedited full version so look out for that come and find us on facebook on instagram don't get instagram facebook <laughs> i'm all right with but instagram i think it's like what's the other one what, twitter? twitter yeah twitter don't don't seem to it's, don't float your boat no i've no. tried many times you, but I just not hard enough not, Glenn. not hard anyway, enough I'm, I'm i'm up against it in week three i'm i'm i've been to i've been obviously going to the shops and exercising and that but and but I must admit, the feeling of not being able to just go and grab a coffee, go and go to B&Q and get the paint that I need and go. This is about my, I'm on my, I'm on my limit, I think. <laughs> You're a ticking time, I'm Bob. Probably another week in me. Oh, Glenn, hang on in there. So come on, everybody, another week. Let's get this knocked out. That would have been nearly a month then. Yeah. A month of it's been a long time it's been a it's long, been time. long time anyway it's before like... before this video takes a morose turn let's see what next week brings us and we look we for... might be sitting further a while yeah yeah we might be like <laughs> this next week <laughs> let's see how it rolls um please let us know how you're doing i so love all the comments and yeah. finding out how you're doing i really love it so please let us know where you are what you're doing how you're coping also tell us what a good pastime that you've done you know something that's that's taken time that we might we might be able to see. yeah yeah a, a good pastime a good activity good and Mrs. as mrs warner has been rolling out the uh, ancestry and that's been like taking up all i love time. it i love it in fact i'm rushing through this video editing just so that i can get back onto ancestry bloody love that yeah that's a great question glenn mm. tell us what you're doing to keep you busy mm. that's it for this week we will see, see you, you next week next see ya bye, bye.